Well, it was another glorious summer's day in Scotland and I was making my way up that familiar road headed to Glencoe and due to other commitments we couldn't uh, leave at our usual crack of dawn time so we aimed to uh, meet up in, uh, in Glencoe about 2 o'clock with us planning on heading on to the eastern wall of Anak Dhu for a short afternoon climb but man, I tell you what, with this good weather the coal was busy I mean super busy Currently in Fort William, <laughs> we were hoping to be uh, claiming something called Quiver Rib today in Glencoe, but uh, I suppose on a beautiful day like today, meeting at 2 o'clock to uh, climb that probably wasn't the best idea. It was absolutely stowed out, there was nowhere to park the car, so we thought, where can we go climbing? So we're heading uh, round to Glen Nevis. It's a plan B, and see if we can do some easy routes in, uh, in Paul Du, on the Paul Du crags. Uh, it kind of puts my plans for later on, <laughs> kind of scuppers them a wee bit because I was meant to be going uh, wild camping following the climb up Quiver River. I was hoping to climb and camp on the top of uh, one of the, the Glencoe Hills there. But anyway, let's see, let's see what we can do here and whether I camp or don't camp. Then it is what it is, but it's a beautiful day and uh, yeah, let's go and have some fun. So we were soon making our way up the absolutely beautiful Glen Nevis and the skies were blue but we hit the same problem, we just couldn't find anywhere to park and by the time we got to the end of the road at the, the Glen Nevis Gorge car park it was absolutely heaving. So we headed back down the road uh, towards the Paul Du Crags but we weren't really quite sure what we were going to do because <laughs> If we couldn't get parked then we uh, we couldn't leave the cars, so we were in a bit of a quandary. So Scotland's busy today, <laughs> I can't get parked anywhere. Uh, this went up to the car park at the, uh, the, the Nevis Gorge walk, and it's just absolutely here. Um, no way to park, so uh, we're not quite sure what we're going to do, we're just kind of... Uh, we're over here looking at the car, we can't get anywhere, so... Uh, yeah, it's um, a bit of a quandary what we're going to do today. A bit, uh, a bit disappointing, but it's a lovely day. <laughs> so here we are, finally at the crag, so we've uh, managed to get a parking space and bumped into very nice man who gave us instructions because it's the first time being here, so we're heading up there somewhere. Let's go. So after having been in the car for about four, four and a half hours driving and trying to find a parking spot, it was lovely to get out and stretch the legs and uh, we were headed up for Pine Wall Crag and a route called The oh, Gutter. Yeah. Jerry led the way up the first pitch and it was lovely, the, the rock was warm to touch, the skies were blue and there was a wee breeze so there was no midges which was absolutely fantastic. Uh, the route goes at Diff, uh, quite an easy route but that's just what we were after because it had been quite a while since we'd been uh, out climbing but uh, what a fantastic place and the climb was good, the protection was fantastic and we, we had lots of fun. didn't take long and before we knew it we'd, uh, we'd completed the climb and it was actually time to head back home so we headed back down to the bags, got packed away and we were soon heading back down the hillside and back in the cars for another two and a half to three hours drive home turns out we were uh, in the cars for seven hours that day and uh, spent about an hour outdoors 
So that hour was fantastic. It's been great weather and uh, thoroughly enjoyed ourselves. Now it's time for the long drive home.